Here we go. Hey guys, I'm up here. Today we're checking out the J7 Plus wireless doorbell camera from XTU. Inside the box, you're going to receive the camera itself, a housing to attach outside of your house, a doorbell chime, some batteries, a bag with some extra parts and pieces, and a user's guide. So let's power this thing up and see what it can do. So here on page five, it's going to tell us our first step is to scan one of these QR codes and download the Cloud Edge app onto your phone. I already have this app. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. I have this for two doorbell cameras from one company and a solar powered security camera from another company. And this is the third different brand that I'm going to be using with this app. And that's kind of cool that they're all using the same app. So I can just have one app on my phone right now. I have like four different security systems on here. So it makes it easy for all of it to be on this one. Next step is going to be to power on the device. I have fully charged this overnight and let's go ahead and power it on. On the side of the camera, there is this little port here and we have this on off button. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And we get a little tone. Once you have it powered on, this little red light is going to flash slowly. So it's going to tell us to hit the reset button in here. We're going to hold that down for five seconds. And we get that little sound. Next, there are a bunch of steps here to set up the camera, but I already have this app on my phone working. So let's go ahead and hit this plus button. We will select smart doorbell and click that smart. And there we go. Device is powered on. So let's hit next. Press the bell button and tap next. Press the bell button and tap next. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. We are already flashing red, so let's just hit next. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. And Please we want to do that one. For Gene network, then enter your network password. Okay, we'll hit next. Please remove well, the cool. protective film from your camera lens. Tap oh, right. next to show your QR code. Then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. So we have that. Let's go ahead and hit next. And we will put this QR code here in front of our phone. Looks like it already grabbed it. And we will hit next. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Okay, connection successful. Let's hit next. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. Well, let's just do it from here for now. And now you can see my camera. And my lights. And hear my voice. Let's hit next. Okay, let's hit done. And we will change a name. And I am going to stick this on the door for the chicken coop that I am building because I really don't have any other doors to place this on right now. Chicken coop. We will hit OK. And family is that Nib's home. And this, we'll just, I guess, stick this in the backyard. We will hit done. And now I have a new camera. So let's go ahead and click into it. Let it load up. I don't really care about that. And there we go. There we go. There we let's go. Turn that volume down. So now we have the camera hooked up on my phone. I can access it anywhere in the world. Let's go ahead and change some settings here. We have settings up here. We want to check our time settings. Make sure we're all good. We want 24 hours. 
we will check our battery management. We are at 100%. Cloud storage service. Don't need that. Let's check for a new version of the software. Looks like we have the latest version. And recording management. And SD card. Let's go ahead and stick one of those in here. Um, I am running out of 128 gigabyte cards. So we are going to use this 64 gigabyte card. Stick that right into here. And we'll stick it in the right way. There we go. And let's back out. And go back to... Now it's going to access that card. So that isn't working. Let's go ahead and back back out. We have a live view of the camera again. Let's go back into settings. Go to recording management. And there it is. It's found now. But it's not formatted, so let's go ahead and format that card. And we are done. Now you can use the cloud storage service. It is a charge, but you get to try it out for seven days if you want. But I don't use the cloud for anything because I don't want anyone to be able to hack into my stuff. So I am going to just use the SD card. So we have time, let's do image settings, and night vision we want automatic, and anti-flicker settings, I just leave that alone. Let's go to sound settings, and microphone, record voice, speaker, speaker volume, all of that looks good, let's back that out. Chime settings, wireless chime, chime reminder, when visitor rings the doorbell, the doorbell rings at the same time. So let's go ahead and set up our chime. So here is our chime and it will take either three AA batteries or you can plug it in to a micro USB port. I am going to use three AA batteries. I always use my any loop rechargeables even though it came with some. We'll stick that in there. And close this back up. That was... Oh. Look at this. It has a visitor at our doorbell, which throws up the camera too. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and ignore that for now. So it looks like the last thing we have to do here is to go hook this thing up to a wall somewhere. So let me get some shoes on and a drill and we will go outside. Here is the chicken coop that I'm building and I'm going to make a video about that coming up soon. But I have kind of a dilemma here. Where to put the camera? So I can't put it on the sides of the door because you can see here that the door covers up where the camera would be. And I can't put it up here because that's really too high. So I think I'm gonna drill right there and uh, put it right on that door and then just, I'm never gonna use that door anyway. So I think that's gonna be the perfect spot for it. I've already pre-drilled out a couple of holes here. So let's put our screw in. And see if we can't get it attached. Now we will put our little camera in. And let's go ahead and test it out. There we go. That is going to be the view from this camera. 
and you can see from here all the way to the end of the property and you can see right over here ish right there on that pole is another camera that is hooked up to the system that covers the back of the house so we get a pretty good range with this and if anybody wants to come say hi to the chickens they can just push the doorbell well that's all i have for this video bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video don't forget to comment rate subscribe check us out on the website and we'll see you guys on the next one.